This is the first video of many where we will be talking about how to become an Amazon seller and how to achieve the financial freedom that you have dreamed of. So today's video, let's get right into it. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make or how to reach uh, $15,000 in profit every month and how to make that money. So this is actually a very normal amount of money to make when it comes to selling on Amazon because this is the biggest online marketplace in the world, especially when I speak about Amazon.com. It's the biggest online marketplace in the world. So you are able to reach those numbers, um, you know, with pretty minimal effort. Number one, for you to create an Amazon seller account, you will need a driver's license or a passport ID. You will need to be living in one of the 188 countries that Amazon allows to be selling on Amazon sellers. So you, they have a list where you can you know, pull it up on Google. Um, I will pull it up and I will try to insert a picture here if it can all fit into one picture, where if you live in one of these countries, then you are allowed to create an Amazon seller account. So to answer one of the many burning questions that everyone has, do you need to own a business? Do you need to own an LLC? Do you need to be living in the US? So you do not need to own a business. You do not need to have an LLC. You can be selling as a, an individual, just as personal and you do not need to be living in the US for you to sell on amazon.com this is the beauty of it the inventory does not pass through you it actually goes straight to the Amazon warehouse so no you do not need to be in the US to do this so creating an account is actually very simple when it comes to Amazon uh, you just need to put in all the information that they ask of you and if you experience any difficulties it's actually pretty frequent for Amazon to put your account under review when they're going through your documents. So they will usually send you an email saying uh, what other documents they need. Sometimes they need an extra utility bill. Uh, sometimes they need an extra bank statement just to prove your identification. So as long as you provide all of that information for them, then you will just have your account set up and it's pretty easy. You need to find a product to sell on Amazon. This is the second thing. Find a product to sell on Amazon. So now don't be fooled this part is very particular so it's not like you choose any product whatever you like or whatever you think you know was selling well on amazon then you uh, go ahead and you sell that no there's a whole process to uh, researching a product on amazon to making sure that there isn't a lot of competition for that product typically your benchmark would be you want a good search volume or good sales and you want low competition so I can make a whole video specifically on this because it's a whole topic and it's a whole process to research those products. So I can make a whole video on this. Let me know down below if you would like that. I also have a course uh, called FBA Academy where I basically walk you through every single thing that you would need to know to start your Amazon business and to, you know, have the most impactful launch when it comes to your Amazon business. So I'm going to have that course linked below as well. It is paid. So I'm going to try to create other videos on those topics that you can have for free. But for now, if you want to get started as soon as possible, I will have my course linked below. So you would need to find a product. I'm going to try to uh, go through this a little bit briefly with you guys, just so that you get the gist of this. You're going to need before you begin to search for your product is you're going to need to download the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Now there are quite a few uh, different extensions that you could use for this. I personally use Jungle Scout, so I'm going to link below how where you can download it. But this will kind of be your X-ray vision for Amazon. So you're going to be able to see how much people are making, the search volume for certain keywords. So you're just seeing a lot of information that, as a typical Amazon buyer, you would not usually see. So I already have my Chrome extension over here. So we're just going to start right away, Amazon.com. So first I would go into the categories over here on the left. And I would pick a category that you are interested in or something that you would want to sell in. So the whole point of creating your Amazon seller account and selling on Amazon is you want to create a brand. So you don't want this to be the type of thing where you're selling random products. Because if you're not passionate about that product, then you're not going to continue to work hard and want to sell it. So definitely pick something that you are passionate about, whether it's, um, you know, arts and crafts or whether it's baby products or fashion, I don't really recommend clothing, but it could be like accessories, home and kitchen, just whatever you are most 
interested in. So go on home and kitchen over here. And maybe I would do home decor. So instantly it's going to pull up for you all of the best sellers over here. But you, what you want to do is you want to go on the left and take a look at, you know, some of the different products that they have listed on the left here. And, you know, see what grabs your attention the most. So maybe for me, I am interested in doormats. Now I'm just going to show you an example of how you can assess a certain product and kind of check that this is a good product to start selling and it doesn't have too much competition. So you go over here on Jungle Scouts and I just want to um, list it by maximum revenue. Okay, so your whole point is you want to make sure that there's at least two uh, or more sellers that are selling for uh, over $40,000 and you want those sellers to not have you know over 900 reviews because if they do have over 900 reviews that means it's too competitive to get to that point pretty fast so as you can see over here jungle scout will give you their daily sales which means this is the units they will give you the revenue and they will give you when they first started selling and their reviews so this is kind of this section over here is what we're looking at. So I'm looking for something that is less than 900 reviews. So maybe let's... So this over here is interesting because they have 237 reviews. They started selling in 2020 and they have $54,000. So that means that, you know, you are able to sell with not that many reviews. You're able to compete and you're able to make money. And something that's good also to pay attention to is that they are selling between $17 to $100. You don't want anything that's under $17 because your profit margins are probably just not going to be enough or worth the effort. So I would just go through this and assess the competition. Again, this is just a whole other video that uh, I could do for you guys on how to find a product. I just wanted to give you an example of how to assess. Like, for example, over here, this is 136 reviews and they have 24,000 uh, units sold. There's lots of different characteristics that you would want to look at when assessing your product So that's why it's a whole other video But that's just an example of how to uh, make sure that your product has you know good demand and low competition So once you've gone through the process of picking out your product, then you want to go on alibaba.com So alibaba is you know again one of the biggest online platforms where you are able to connect with manufacturers Overseas, so mostly it's going to be manufacturers in Asia. So in China um, I'm pretty sure they also have India uh, Indonesia um, Singapore they have a lot of different um, Countries on alibaba.com where you're able to find manufacturers in so you want to kind of get an idea of what you're looking for uh, Or maybe even just you know get a picture and have that in your head of what you want or the type of product that you're looking for and then Search that up on Alibaba and filter through the suppliers and then you want to get samples And once you found one that you think is high quality and uh, can compete with your competitors Then you private label it so private labeling means you are putting your logo on a product and don't worry this is completely legal actually a lot of brands do this a lot of the brands that you shop from like nasty gal fashion nova all of these people are actually private labeling which means uh, a selection of their products they didn't make themselves they bought from another manufacturer or another business owner and they just put their logo on it so that's what you're going to be doing. That's what a lot of sellers on Amazon are doing. You will send your logo off to your manufacturer. They will put your logo on the product and then you will ship it straight to the Amazon warehouse where you can sell it for profit. So the cool thing about this is you're kind of starting off a brand. It's as if you're starting off, you know, your own small business, your own brand, but you're starting it on Amazon, which means you have access to way more customers than if you were to just start it off on Shopify or, you know, start it through your Instagram. This is giving you access to a lot more customers that you normally just wouldn't have access to, which allows your business to grow 
way faster than you would have ever imagined. So this is why I say that, you know, Amazon is not the enemy for small businesses. Amazon is actually the friend because if you launch your business on Amazon first, then you are able to gain so many customers and so much exposure and you're able to make a lot of sales actually, which later on you can convert to your website and make them at full profit. So once you've listed your um, listing on Amazon, now let's talk about how you are able to reach that $15,000 mark every month your first product you want to make sure that you are profiting at least ten dollars on each unit and when i say at least ten dollars i mean that is after all the shipping costs uh the customs and duties that you would have paid on it to enter the u.s and the packaging and everything like that and the marketing so you want your profit at the end to be ten dollars you have that ten dollar profit then you want to aim to sell 10 units a day which is actually pretty easy for you to sell 10 units a day because as i said amazon has the you know largest customer base in the world so once you sell 10 units a day that means every month you are making three thousand dollars worth of profit which is amazing to start off but then you want to duplicate this process that you've done with four other products so now in total you will have five products and if you're making three thousand dollars of each of them then that is fifteen thousand dollars in profit now i know this might seem like it's very simple and it's very easy but actually the timeline to do this i would say is around six months to a year uh but even though that might seem like a long time, if you compare it to a normal job where you are waiting to get that promotion and waiting to reach $15,000 a month, uh, then I think that's going to take way longer than one year for you to reach that type of salary. So it's good to start now, even if it takes a while for you to, you know, get those 10 units a day and then duplicate that process with five other products then it's okay because anyway it's going to be a way shorter amount of time than if you were waiting for that to happen on a regular job or if you were waiting on a promotion. This is also a great side hustle because once you have it running, once you get it going, then you actually spend very, very minimal amount of hours on this because it kind of runs itself. So when you ship your products to the Amazon warehouse, they are actually taking care, this is called FBA, so Fulfillment by Amazon, which means they are taking care of all the fulfillment, they are shipping and packing your product and they are taking care of most of the customer service. Um, you kind of don't really have to worry about anything until you restock your product. So. And also once you, you know, do it once and you do it well, then it's easy to duplicate that and do it with four other products. I know 100% it's easier said than done. So that's why I'm switching my YouTube channel to be more about Amazon FBA and how to achieve that type of success. And I'm going to be giving you guys all the tips and tricks that I know and everything that I am currently learning um, along this road and this journey. I'm going to be sharing it with you guys, leaving nothing out so that you are able to take this journey on with me. So anyway, I think I've been talking for a pretty long time, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I will be uploading way more. I think maybe around once or twice a week. You guys let me know what you prefer and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.